Good evening, this is your Mayor Cole Murray reporting on the Council meeting this evening, 23rd of May. One of the items that created uh, understandably a lot of discussion this evening was the, uh, the report which suggests Council will fund uh, a $250,000 amount to do the pre-construction works for the uh, new aquatic centre and including the community consultation. Uh, this was um, accepted unanimously by the Council and one of the interesting things that came out of the discussion in community consultation was the observation of uh, the President or Chair of the, the Tamworth uh, Aquatic Group was that there had been quite a bit of contention and uh, concern about the location of pretty much uh, all of the other activities that are conducted out at, out at uh, the Centre of Excellence or at the Long Yard Precinct and um, you know uh, hockey and basketball and netball all had concerns about moving out to the edge of town but all of those sports have thrived and further developed and increased their participation and and council doesn't hear too many concerns from uh, from participants and, and residents now about making the trek out to the Long Yard area so that was an interesting observation. There was uh, lots of discussion from the councillors, a lot of support for the move, uh, notwithstanding the desire to actually have a, a good discussion with the rest of the community about what this project may or may not look like. Another item of interest this evening um, uh, was the discussion around the PFAS contamination, that's a chemical con contamination downstream of the airport which is a result of uh, firefighting foam, some of the chemicals used in firefighting foam in days gone by has actually contaminated groundwater and surface water and some of the land. Uh, there are around 12 uh, residences that are affected, the groundwater in some, the surface water in others, but uh, I guess the important thing in the discussion centred around was Council's observation in, in looking after and working with EPA and other agencies uh, with regard to the health of our residents and also moving, moving the funding from our local ratepayers and residents to the Federal Government who were the agency, well they were the responsible owner of the airport uh, when this contamination actually occurred. So Council has spent around $145,000 working with the EPA and properly informing and investigating and uh, providing advice to the residents and now we feel it's time for the Federal Government to stump up and cover any additional costs into the future. And also Council resolved to hold a meeting of those residents affected and just ensure that there were no unanswered questions and we would be expecting that EPA and some representation from the Federal Government would be at that meeting to, to assist residents with any concerns or uncertainty they may have. The Disability Action Plan going on public exhibition in the next few days was another matter that was considered by Council. This has been a, a quite a comprehensive piece of work that's been done by all those uh, affected by dis disabilities. It's uh, been generated by council staff predominantly, but uh, there's been a strong consultation process with all the agencies involved and with affected uh, residents to, to improve and to present a future for the disability access, access uh, mechanisms of council. Uh, this, this does go on public exhibition in the next couple of days, so it would be very keen to hear from the rest of the community whether we've actually got this plan right. So uh, looking forward to your con uh, contributions. This is a very important issue and we all need to be aware of, uh, of not leaving people behind as we move through this modern society. So once again, thank you very much for your interest and attention. This is your Mayor Cole Murray signing off.